from a recovery point of view, your most common methods of use will be typically either heat or cold water immersion cryotherapy. And in the off season, pre season, where we're trying to deliberately progressively overload the body, which is just simply putting demands on the body to improve, get fitter, faster, stronger, we don't want to uh, stunt our muscle growth and our protein synthesis. And cryotherapy can, the research shows, it may do that. So, simply put, if you do a huge gym session and you're putting in lots of effort to get a little bit bigger, build some body armor, or maybe you want to get stronger or more powerful. By having an ice bath within that 24, 48 hours post of your gym session, you could be hindering your adaptation. Uh, the stimulus that you're putting through the body could be reduced. So we don't want that in pre-season and off-season. If your goal is purely to build your conditioning, then maybe freshening up by doing an ice bath on a Thursday before your main session of the week on the Friday for your running um, might help you with performing that session. So if that's the case, you don't want to gain muscle mass. You're not trying to focus on improving your strength or power and you just simply want to improve your conditioning in the off-season, pre-season, then absolutely use ice bars as they're known for reducing muscle soreness and helping uh, us recover. What recovery do I want to be doing in the off-season, pre-season if I do want to gain muscle mass, get stronger and um, put in and get all the benefits of the hard work I'm doing in the gym? Then we want to be thinking things that promote blood flow. Sauna, that's okay to do. Any form of a low intensity active recovery, like spinning the legs on a bike or going for a walk, or maybe foam rolling massage is another good thing. And it's not going to hinder your protein synthesis. It's not going to affect your gains in the gym. Obviously, sleep and fuel, so nutrition, uh, should be your main focus. So those two big rocks for recovery year round, uh, they're your non-negotiables. But in terms of the accessories, stretching, massage, and any form of heat is okay in off-season, pre-season. So have the days off. We don't want to be biting off more than we can chew at this time of year because I've seen that. And you can definitely burn out if you're just putting in and working your ass off at this time of year. Come March, yeah, you're sick of training and you're sick of footy. So we want to make sure that we're timing our run. So take the rest days, keep focusing on variation so with the fart lake on monday we've got three six minute blocks great time to get out and do a trail run and get outdoors don't just go to your local football oval make sure you mix it up uh, maybe run a, if for those who don't have any um, lower limb injuries or foot stuff maybe you might you might run on asphalt or on a trail or ass track for example for those obviously that you know the grass is your best option then stick to grass of course tuesday is a rest day Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, Sunday, rest days. Now, if, if you're someone who loves to move and your motivation is really high and you've been doing it for a long time in terms of training, then feel free to throw in some different types of home, maybe a yoga class, Pilates. You might go down to the local MMA gym, boxing, uh, whatever it might be. So throw in some different stimuluses. Don't just do the same old sessions that you've done or you, you know you've done in the past. Try something new. This is a good time to explore as well. 